I'm on a mission to help the world to see success differently. We're sharing the stories of our guests. I hope to inspire those that listen. This is the Different Hats podcast produced by H2 Productions. I hope you can join us on this journey. So the understanding of men, it's obviously having worked in the police for nine years. Hmm. Um, I was in tech. One of my many jobs before I joined the police was, was tech. Um, my dad was the classic man. You know, went, ran a su- successful construction business. It wasn't really till he semi-retired to Devon that he suddenly realised he'd been freaking miserable hmm. his whole life, you know, and, and doing what he was doing. Um, not the building, but running a business. Yeah. So I've spent a lot of time around men and really have seen firsthand how men create this um, conditioning and coping strategies mm. to hide themselves away, their emotions, their, their truth, um, their, their kind of f- creativity, mm. uh, and the conditioning, sadly, the cultural conditioning and the f- ancestral conditioning through definitely British, you know, the, the British culture mm. has been for men to be cookie cutters of themselves. They go around Mayfair, and I, I call them the Mayfair minions, and you see all these guys that look exactly the same, wearing exactly the same colours, exactly the same kind of suit, and they have that same look on their face, and it's lost. It's There's no mm. inspiration, there's no I- excitement. They are minions of themselves because they've been you know been on that route it's like a- academic route success route mm. all about the numbers route um and that's been their conditioning that's that's what you do that's yeah. what you're here for it's not actually that is what you've been given as a message as society and also uh, uh, you know aside from that and that's all fairly positive the negatives of that is the guys have to it's all about striving for more bigger house bigger car better car um, holidays, holiday home. There's there's this this continuum that the you know obviously companies, corporates, we're mm. we're a market market economy. The the corporates you know encourage us to feel and think like this as well. Mm. Um, and it's all BS, mm. quite frankly. Mm. And I've met too many miserable millionaires. So I, I it is absolutely BS because one one question I'd like to throw in is very hot potato for me at the moment. If if um, if this is resonating, the, the key question to ask yourself at any point in your life, but especially if you're on that ladder, it's like, what is the feeling you're looking for? What's the feeling you desire from, that you feel, that you believe you're going to get when you've achieved that? And I, I'm a regular BBC radio thingy, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Eddie Nestor and I have some great conversations, you know, Eddie Nestor from one of the London DJs. Yeah. Um, and he's like, well, I've got to get to point B, Joe. It's like, but what? It's the feeling you're looking for to get to, to that point B. He's kind of set, like he's saying he's got to work for another 15 years yet, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever it is. But what is that feeling? What is that? And what's the underlying feeling of that? What are you, why not create that now? Why? What? It's not there. It's here. What, what stops people? Is, is it, it, it? Do you think that it is from it, it's society's message that stops people from? doing that yeah, right now like it's just from getting up tomorrow and going because th- there's certain elements I guess like people listening and people go well it'd be great to think like that but but I've got a mortgage pay, I've got this I've got this because that, if I just give it all up and that the money I get pays for that lifestyle that I've got so if I give that all up now then and do something else that doesn't bring me that financial security because a lot of people crave security don't they they feel or they feel that, that, that that's what where happiness is they've got that security so i guess what, what is the is it that it's because society says that that's that where success is because you've got security you've got your house and you've got your mortgage etc etc but i guess what is that is, is that where it comes from oh. yeah it's a belief it's a belief and it's a conditioning that that when you achieve that, you've made it. When you've achieved mm. that, you've got security. But none of us are secure. Yeah. The last few years have shown us that every single yeah, person, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. all these people that have, have been particularly ill, really ill, and actually some have passed, yeah. um, that you wouldn't expect for whatever reasons. Um, you know, it's causing a lot of stress. The suicide rate is, is of the scale. Mm. It's, it's an, it, all this time is showing us it's a big, it's a spotlight on the fact that that there is there is kind of only now yeah. there's only now we can only be in now there's no such thing as a future anyway yeah. no such thing as past 
because there's only ever now. Um, and that is all conditioning. And so recognizing and also letting go sometimes the fact that, well, because that you're, say, your dad or your mum told you, often dads, I feel, just generalizing mm. a little bit, um, you know, because and poss- possibly because they didn't quite succeed in their eyes. Mm. Um, that if that that is the belief that that's the point that will will make you, um, and that's the success story, um, it it's an it's understanding that actually, what you're trying to achieve is that feeling. Mm. If you think about it, it's only the feeling you're looking for. Yeah. It's not actually the car. It's the feeling of driving it. It's not the big house with the drive. It's the feeling of being in it. Because this is all illusionary. What we see is illusionary. This is 3D world. We are multidimensional beings. We don't exist just in the 3D body form. This is an avatar. You know, so recognizing the feelings, the inner feelings, the multidimensional side of ourselves Mm. is what we're really seeking. If you think about it, Mm. ask any entrepreneur, what is the drive? And that's where it's important to say, no, it's the experience that we need to get that feeling in. The, the, the general every day and actually often when you actually let go of that financial kind of requirement or the house or whatever yeah. start creating that feeling in you now you won't want the house because you realize there's an amazing um, movie producer from Hollywood who's just released a movie I'm sorry I can't remember it but I can let you know you can yeah, put it yeah, in, yeah, the, yeah. in the link and he was about to buy his next mansion he's divorced lives by himself and he was about to buy the sort of 38 room mansion because he just left his 26 room mansion in in um, Beverly Hills. Yeah. He got to the front door and realized, that, what the hell am I doing? What is this all about? Didn't buy the house, got in the car and drove. And he drove and he created a movie about why we exist and what really is the point of us. And it's wow. one of the most beautiful, powerful movies I've ever seen. Wow. Um, and he was the producer of um, the director of The Mask. Jim, he's done a lot of yeah. Jim Carrey movies. So, um, and it it comes back to that he was always looking for that feeling, and he realised that. So he went on the road to look for it instead, and he worked out that actually the feeling is to be, the feeling is to exist with others, and feel the presence of that richness. Because ri- the word rich is a really interesting word. Yeah, 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 we yeah, all sure. want to be rich. But, you know, if I gave you 50 million pounds of Monopoly money now, yeah, yeah. Right, and I say, I can turn that into real money if you want me to. Yeah. Okay, but look at that 50 million, and, and let's think about how you'd feel. Yeah, so yeah. You'd, you create that feeling of feeling really wealthy. Yeah. Now hold on to that feeling and go outside and give the five pound note into, in your pocket to the first person you see is homeless. You'll yeah. get the same feeling. Because yeah, that is the feeling that. of richness when yeah. you when you recognise that this is an abundant world, and and that feeling of richness, yeah. and of s- helping others, because um, actually that's all buying cars and everything is. It's all just an exchange process. Yeah. I think that answered your question, yeah. Sam. Uh, amazingly, actually, <laughs> amazingly, what a brilliant way of looking at it is. Uh, and what I take from that as well is about, and and a lot of obviously what you're saying is is so much and something I'm mindful of and I try and talk to myself about a lot and try and check in about being present all of the time and to get, it's difficult to do I'm certainly I'm on the path I'm on a journey to try and find but I'm definitely not there because I'm, I'm brain does wonder even when I'm with the kids sometimes and I I criticise myself for it and I get one minute and I'm looking at my phone I'm answering that email late at night and work silly hours and I'm trying to just go right I'm going to do that and I'll be present 100% in that I do love my work and I do love things I do so I think it's okay to be present in them moments and enjoy that but still be able to come out and because that's where I guess what you're alluding, that's where that true joy and happiness is when you are 100%, whatever it is you're doing at that particular moment in time, you're 100% in and and present in that moment. Yeah, yeah, and that's where we feel rich, it's where we feel wealthy, it's where we feel um, we are tapping into ourselves, we can explore ourselves. And so few people do that, they don't give themselves time. I, I really recommend everyone just spends five minutes before they do anything in the morning, just sat still, eyes closed open whichever breathing just breathing and you can call it meditation if you like 
Um, you could do it for half an hour or 10 minutes, do some journaling after whatever the thoughts come in or mm. pictures. Um, give yourself time just to allow yourselves to exist in a minute. And, and if you can do this throughout the day, you just stare into something, you know, like the, the walls in here, like the green, just stare at it for two minutes and switch off. Just allow yourself just to switch off. It's, um, it's creating a, a conscious awareness or Buddhist practice. Um, and it gives yourself time just to become in your body. Um, and that's a whole other thing I'm very passionate about, is that we've all, we've, the, the existence for human, humankind in the developed world, there's an irony, <laughs> um, is up here. You know, the existence is here. This is where all the stress is. We're not, we're not, we're not just in our brain. Mm. We've forgotten our hearts. And dropping into the heart consciousness and allowing yourself to breathe through through the you start breathing, mm. you're naturally your your internal systems, your chakras will start engaging with each other more, um, and that's where our truth is. That's where our presence is. That's where our richness is. It's in our hearts and dropping into that and allowing that true sense of feeling and of love. It's mm. it's real simple. Yeah. All you need is love, and uh, it's a. <laughs> It's a, one of the most overused um, sayings, but it's the most underused too, because actually that's where the love is for yourself, for, y for your family, for all that you have around you.